Hi everyone, Bobby here from tabletcrunch.com. I hope you are having an awesome day today. Just did an interview with CBS Radio in San Francisco. I was talking about all of the iOS 6 Wi-Fi problems that I've been writing about on Tablet Crunch. They wanted to dig a little bit deeper into these issues. What was interesting during the conversation, um, they told me that they were actually having problems there at the CBS Radio studios and I guess in their offices. There's multiple wireless routers um, throughout their building and they were saying that some of the routers they can get on fine, some of them they can't. Um, so what do people do in that situation? Uh, it's a great point. It's something I haven't thought of um, in a commercial or an office or a campus, if you will. The uh, two things come to mind. Number one is more than likely there's a server such as Windows Server 2008 that manages all of the IP addresses. There's like a lease pool and the server will distribute the IP addresses to the wireless routers. The wireless routers will then distribute the IP addresses to the devices as they're picking up the network. Um, so my first thought is to turn to the, the server environment or the firewall that's in between your server and your routers and simply reset that. Either assign a new, I, new set of IP addresses, a new lease of IP addresses, um, set a new DNS, uh, set new name servers, more than likely the DHCP, you can reset the DHCP. So somewhere in there, I'm certainly not an expert with Windows uh, or Domain or Server 2008, but people who are experts will know exactly what to do. And I would say that would be your point of focus is to reset the, uh, the DHCP server if Windows, if Windows Server 2008 is actually managing the distribution of IP addresses. Number two, much more cumbersome solution is people are just going to have to go around to all the wireless routers that you have and simply reset them, you know, get, get logged into them. Actually, I could probably sit on one IP domain or in that network and each of the routers have their own IP address. So from one computer, I would be able to access every single router in the entire building. And you just simply go through and, and reset security or reset the um, flush, the, um, the cache that's in the router and reset it. So that's actually not as cumbersome as, as I was thinking uh, previously because you can probably access all the routers just from one computer or one laptop. So those are the two places that I would start. Um, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts, people who are much more knowledgeable with DHCP or TCP IP and Windows Server, <coughs> um, what you think the solutions might be for people who are having connect Wi-Fi connectivity issues with their iPhone or iPad after upgrading to iOS 6. So I look forward to your comments and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.